We are the new kids on the block in North Carolina. We got here in 2007. There's a feeling in North Carolina among the staff. There's a feeling you get when you talk with people getting services there. There's an excitement. North Carolina has two sites. They have the main site, which is Blue Ridge, which is in Raleigh, and we have the second site out in Cary. The mental health substance abuse environment is a very unique one. I see North Carolina um, really as a state where fellowship has a lot of opportunity for growth. We have a fabulous relationship with Wake County. Uh, Carlisle Johnson and D.D. Severino here in North Carolina have been fantastic to work with. The community in North Carolina has been very welcoming to fellowship. I can't say enough, especially Wake County and all of our colleagues at Wake County have really opened their arms to us. We have a very solid reputation. People see us as a good, solid, honest organization does some very creative things. Diana brings a lot of experience to the position. In Diana, we have a very seasoned regional director with a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of creativity. What makes Fellowship North Carolina so unique is really the team approach we have created here. And not only the team approach with the staff, but also with the consumers, because the consumers are part of the fellowship family, and we're all in this together. That staff has been together there since day one, and they do a phenomenal job. The programming, the curriculum here in North Carolina for that program is great. You have staff who are interested in the arts, bringing the arts in, and you having the individuals become engaged and doing the artwork and performing. A lot of the carry consumers are very talented in the artistic realm, um, so we've actually been able to display a lot of their artwork at a local cafe. Somebody can go into the cafe and they can admire the work of art on the wall or they can purchase it. And uh, that's been a really, really nice relationship to have in the local community because it's really a way to showcase people's talents. So we're really excited that that can be an opportunity to um, increase knowledge, kind of look at breaking down some stigma, getting our name out there, and letting our consumers participate in something that they might not have been able to do to their mental illness. At the Cary site, we do a horticultural program where um, we get a lot of donations from the community. So we actually have a little garden out back, and then with everything that we produce out of that garden, we teach the clients how to prepare nutritional food. I did feel we could make a, a major improvement in the, in the area, and I think in talking with the people from the, the county, they'll tell you, we, we have had a major impact. I really think Fellowship sits in a very unique position to have many opportunities for future growth here in North Carolina, not just in Wake County, but actually expanding into different regions and parts of North Carolina. The future North Carolina is definitely bright. We're looking to expand services, and they're moving forward, so I'm looking for a lot of expansion in North Carolina, and I think next year is going to be very exciting.